Hey guys, welcome to TCR. Sid here. Welcome, welcome. Friday, Friday. Thanks for joining me. Whoop, whoop. I'm all about Friday today. Lord, it has been a week. I think I, I feel like I say that every week lately, but it's been a week and it's going to be, it's going to continue to be a week. There's a lot, a lot, a lot. So we'll get into it. We will, we will. Hey, Robin's buys and DIYs. What's going on? Hi, Doug, the guitarist. Well, it's crack a lagging. Hey guys. So I goofed and did not uh, advertise like I normally do on social media like for our live this week because this i'll just i'll just run it down for you like so monday morning i'm out feeding the animals and i had seen mike go outside um he was getting ready to leave for work and i saw him go outside to check on his plants real quick and then i heard water running and i just thought oh that's weird he's watering his plants at like kind of a weird time in the morning but then he's like leaving for work so that's weird whatever and I walked back around and I finished like the side feeding these guys. And then I, and I was like, something, to, it doesn't sound right. Like, it sounds weird. Like, what, what is that? And then I looked because I was taking the barn kitty some food and I was walking out towards there, which is on the back side of the pool. And I glanced at the pool and the pool is like a foot low on water. And I'm like, what <laughs> happened? And I hear, and I look and I hear water gushing now that I'm closer to it. And I'm like, what? So I go running over to the pool pump and the top pressure gasket gauge rather has like apparently just rocketed off the top and it's just like a geyser. It's like old faithful, just pumping water up into the pool house and just flooding the pool house. And I'm like, uh, that's not good. So I like carefully, like, luckily I have my big rubber muck boots on because there's all kinds of electrical and stuff in there. And I reach in and I flip the switch and shut the pump off. And I come running back in the house, like yelling for Mike. I was like, hey, are you still here? And he happened to still be in the house. And I was like, I don't even know how to describe to you what just happened, but you need to come and visually witness. So he came out and looked at it and he's like, oh my goodness. So I guess something happened where it wasn't tightened all the way and it just slowly like as it was filtering and pumping and doing what it does, it just slowly like loosens and then it just, whoosh. I suspect, Mike says I'm wrong and maybe I am, but I find it suspicious that it, this all happened like the day after we replaced the water heater and we're doing some plumbing stuff. Like I feel like maybe air got in the pipe somewhere or something that caused that to happen. I could be completely wrong, but it's very, like odd that it's those events coincided in my world i don't know so that's what's happening there hey pole barn productions the other doug the other white meat <laughs> hello from arizona that guy from cal from cali but he's from arizona well that's not confusing at all <laughs> Stace Makes from the UK. What's going on, Emmanuel? Hello. Getting all the hellos in there. Yes, happy St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day is a big deal around here because uh, Frankie is born on St. Patrick's Day. So I have, that's why if any of you have ever noticed, I have a lot of shamrocks in my sleeve and I have my separate little Frankie shamrock tattoo on this wrist. So shamrocks and St. Patrick's Day are a big deal around here. So we always... We celebrate however she wants to. Yesterday it was um, takeout Thai food and Guardians of the Galaxies followed by Newsies because that's the school play they're doing this year and she wanted to watch it. So we watched Christian Bale do his thing. So, and don't mind, the dogs might go crazy in a minute. There's so much going on, you guys. So my girlfriend, Jen, is coming over to help um, me get ready. We're doing a big yard sale this weekend. Like I would, I would say more of like, I would say a state sale just because there's some items that are like bigger ticket items, not just like I'm selling this bowl of Tupperware, like some, some old tools that Mike had gotten that he's been carting around for a long time that he's, you know, he's like, ah, I don't need two of these. Let's sell this one. That kind of stuff. He's got some music stuff. He's, I think he's going to get rid of. Um, so we're kind of 
you know, having to get it all laid out. So the front of my house right now looks like a rummage sale because it kind of will be. And we have to kind of get it all set up and laid out. So she's, and I got the stickers and everything and we're going to put the table out and get everything out. So she's going to help me with that because I don't know if you remember a few weeks ago, I was talking about cleaning out the house and kind of doing some deep spring cleaning. And I'm have not finished inside the house. Mike decided he derailed me hardcore from that. He was like, we have to clean out the shed. So we had been cleaning out the shed and the garage. Um, and then in between we had the plumbing stuff that we were taking care of, like the water heater. So, and we're redoing <clears throat> some plumbing work in the one bathroom. So that's kind of ripped apart a little bit right now, but <laughs> so it's just kind of like weird simultaneous projects. I guess going on. So, I mean, it's just, it's one of those things. I realized I opened this beer. I've not taken a sip yet. So cheers. Happy Friday. So I was still going to see if that was like Mike or whatever, but it's, it's not. I doubt he will make our lives tonight. Oh, that's tasty. Yeah. I'm drinking my, my Michelob Ultra again tonight with my lime in it because it's that kind of day. Just feel, it just felt, I don't know. I just, Sometimes you just want a beer and I'm not even a big beer drinker. We talked about that before. Like I don't drink beer very often. So in fact, when Jen saw me, I was, she was like, you got beer. We're not at the bar. You're not driving. Why are you drinking a beer? <laughs> like, <laughs> so, but yeah, um, getting everything squared away, sorted out. I still have to do the rest of the house because like I said, he derailed me to go through all his tools and his music stuff and help him sort through. And there was stuff too. You have to understand when we moved from our old house to this house, we had gone from an apartment with a storage unit. So what happened was instead of doing the smart thing and going through everything and sorting it out then, because we were able to do it from two separate locations, it wasn't like he had to be out by a certain day. You know, we just, put everything in the truck and took it to the new house, right? Because it was easy. So we just packed up and carted everything over, never really went through everything. And it just got put in the new house, in the garage. And then, you know, now you add, we've had a kid since then, all of her stuff from, you know, I had a old car seat, a stroller, the a crib, like all this stuff that I've, I hung on to because I thought, uh, I don't know why I was thinking, I don't know why I was hanging on to it. We weren't going to have another kid, but I just, I didn't want to let it go. Maybe those of you that only have one kid would know what I mean. It was just like, it was like admitting that we weren't going to have any more kids. So I just didn't want to get rid of it. So I just kept everything. Um, and it's been up in the rafters in the garage because when we moved from the old house to here again, I did it in pieces. I would load up my little SUV to the brim. After work, I'd go to the old house, I'd load it up and I'd take a truckload out here. And then I'd go back, load it up again and pick up Frankie from school and then come back out here and unpack. And I just repeated that process for like two weeks. Right. And I moved everything, but the big pieces that way. So, um, but because of that, because of that whole, just load it up and bring it mentality, we have stuff that like, literally we have not looked at in 10, 15 years that was in a box in the shed that was in a box in his storage unit that he's going through. And he's like, found pictures of like him from the Navy and like some stuff, obviously that he'd want to keep, but you know, um, like just crazy stuff like that, that I'm like, do we really need to keep this, you know, old sweatshirt from whatever, you know, like weird stuff. So He's kind of going through his stuff. And then this weekend after we're doing a big, um, we got all the junk separated too. And then some of the stuff that was actually left here from the previous owner um, that we had repurposed quite a bit of, there was like some old wood pieces and like not siding, but like um, almost like half fence posts. We use a lot of those on Frankie's Playhouse. Um, <laughs> Lenny, lay down. Frank, Frankie, put the put put the girls out in the backyard, please. Hey, 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 hold on. It's of course a crisis. Do you have a bar? When uh, that's pretty quick, the bar can check. Although it's pretty easy to bump on that. I don't know. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. You know, sometimes that's just life. So, anyway, so uh, we've literally just kind of like made 
use of as much stuff, some of the old, there was like old rocks and stones and things. We've tried to make use of everything that we could, but now we're still left with big piles of stuff that we've been holding on to thinking we're going to reuse it. And we're like, just, we just want to get it out because there's things that we want to do. And so, um, we can't, if it's just still sitting there, like it's just in the way at this point, we've reused everything we're capable of reusing at this point. It's been six years. It's time for it to go. So we've got, um, Jen's husband, Will, um, works in essentially construction and he's got some guys that are going to come up and haul away all of the junk that we have sorted out. That is not stuff that you're going to sell at a garage sale or that is like what I would just call debris (laughs) at this point (laughs) and get it out. So I am so looking forward to that tomorrow morning. I'm not looking forward to getting up and having to like deal with people and function quite that early in the morning because the time change still has me a little loopy. I'm not going to lie. And then last night, I think I got maybe three hours of sleep um, because it was just, it was a hot mess last night. So I think uh, once we get all that stuff out of there, I'm going to be feeling a lot better about it and it'll be easier for me then to sort through other stuff and they're here. Yay. Um, As they sneak in quietly through the back. (laughs) But um, she's like, back to us. I know you do. <laughs> so bad. Snuck in through the back door. Oh, I love it. Anyway, so we're I'm so glad we're getting that done tomorrow. Um, and then Sunday morning we're doing Mike has a bunch of plant starters that he's um hardened off outside the last few weeks. And he's going to be selling those. And then he's got some tools he's gonna be selling. I've got a milk stanchion that I'm gonna be getting rid of. Um and we've got a, a old water trough that we're be getting rid of that we've used as a brooder and all kinds of stuff over the years. But you just want to kind of get some of this stuff out that we've used, but we don't need it anymore. So got everything, all the big stuff out there. We just have to kind of sort through it and decide, you know, what's it worth and, and what will we take for it to just get it out at this point. So, but that's why I'm wearing my you know, ringmaster of the, you know, what show shirt today, because that's, that's where we're at right now. That's what's happening. So I know, I know. Oh, Hey, Alex, sorry. I wasn't trying to ignore you guys. Was, was I on shark tank? No, I was not on shark tank. I was on the hustler, uh, an episode of the hustler, but I was not on shark tank. I was not, I did. Uh, let's see. So yeah, it's not even all done yet, Robin. I wish I could say it was. I still have the rest of the house to go through. I, I, this is, okay, I have to preface this with, because if he's listening, he's going to get mad at me. But, and those of you who have been married for a while probably know. Sometimes when you're working on something together, but like separate pieces of it, Mike will want me to focus on his piece with him because he feels like his piece is more important or more time sensitive in a way. And I may not agree with that, but I do it because it's just, it's easier, (laughs) right? And it still has to get done. It just means that my stuff kind of gets put on hold a little bit. So that's where we're at right now is I kind of put the stop on doing the stuff I was doing to help him sort his stuff out because he was really like all about getting this yard sale on this day and just doing it then. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. Because the following weekend we have Frankie's birthday party here, like for her friends and stuff. So I have to get the house put back together before then. And it's not put together right now because it was half pulled out. And then he pulled me to go do all this other stuff, which is fine. She says as her eye twitches. Um, <laughs> I don't like living in chaos. Uh, I really don't. And Mike is the master of living in chaos, I think. He doesn't bother him if there's stuff out everywhere. Like he doesn't even see it, I feel like sometimes. Um, and he would probably say the same thing about me, but I have to learn to like compartmentalize it. Like, like we can't eat at our dining room table because that's where all the plants are. He's got his his topsoil bag and all his 
little plant cartridges and stuff because that's where he likes to sit and do his planting. It's fine. It's fine. But it's just like, it's chaos over there. So I don't enjoy that. So I'm just looking forward to once they've come and hauled stuff away tomorrow, I'm on to the next chapter of hitting the house hard. Same thing Sunday. Like I'm just going to hit it hard after the garage sale and just power through the rest of the house. So that's my plan. But so no, to answer your question, it's not done. It's, I would say it's maybe, maybe a third of the way done. If that, um, because I ended up doing, instead of really doing the inside of the house, I ended up doing the garage with Jen over a few days and the shed and Jen helped us with that too. And then we had the plumbing stuff we were working on. So it's just been kind of like, haven't been able to like hunker down and do it. So I'm really hoping like spring break too, when Frankie's on spring break in a couple weeks, um, she and I are going to really tear into it. And I'm looking for, I love a good deep clean man. Nothing makes me happier than just gutting it. And that's where I'm at right now. And then, so that's, that I just want like, yeah, I just want like, I might repaint some things. I might, I just feel like the need for some changes just to like, you know, do my thing. A place to do his, oh, his planting projects. He does. This is the, so he, he built himself a little area out by his garden with like the table and a chair and all his stuff. And he had all his stuff underneath. Right. Um, but then it was winter, so he didn't want to sit out there. So he brought everything inside and set it up on the dining room table to drive me crazy. <laughs> but, and I tease him too, because I got him. So I have like my dad's old dresser is his dresser now. Right. So once we got that, I told him, great, this is where you can put like your keys, your wallet, all your stuff now, instead of coming home and dumping it all onto the dining room table. Because I have this thing about the dining room table being clear. I like it to be clear so that if we want to sit down and eat, we can sit down and eat. If we want to use it, whatever. He will put everything on it. So, yeah, okay, so not inside because although he does have an area where he can do it in the garage, but it's still kind of chilly out there. But, um, he basically the area he's made is to do it on the dining room table. So, but it's not like it was like, Oh, I'm planting. And then I clean it all up and put it away. It's been out like that on the table because he plants in different sections. And then he like, he'll do the next round of planting. So it's just been on the table for months. So, but that's like, you know, that's just one of my like things is I like the table to be cleaned off and he, it doesn't bother him. So it stays like that. So <laughs> I know once I get the house, this is my thing too. Is like, I know once I get it like really like high and tight in here, he'll know that like, okay, I have to, I have to mind my P's and Q's now for a while. So, you know, Oh, look who's here. Come on with the come on. The milkman's in the house. Look at that. I didn't realize I was, I was holding your koozie, but I was holding it this way. So only I could see it. I didn't, I didn't realize. I have to, I have to, ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know. Are you still in Florida? I know. Well, I know you're in Arkansas now, but I saw you went to Florida, but I can't remember sometimes on Facebook, it'll show me stuff from five days ago. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so I don't know if you're still there causing trouble. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Right on. I know. What was it? Um, whose live was it? it? Was Terry and um, it was Terry and Mike's live, right? Where they were, he was talking about pimping you out, <laughs> trying to find you a lady, a nice, good Southern lady that could start your tractor. <laughs> I was dying. I was in the kitchen making dinner and I was dying. <laughs> Four states in seven days. Oh, Lordy. That sounds like a beginning to a very bad country song. Holy moly. Wiring projects. You use the dining room table and you hear crap for being on the table. And then you go down the basement and then you hear crap for not being upstairs. I get you. I, you know, 
I don't know. Like I, I just, I don't, I like to be able to say like, oh, I want to have people over and not be like, ew, I can't have anybody over. You know what I mean? And so when Mike has just left stuff like that, I just get very, <laughs> so I get, yeah, I get a little weird about it. So, and then it's like, I feel like it with him working from home more, there was just more stuff that kind of accumulated and I just couldn't keep up. Like I had my own stuff I was doing and it was like, eventually I just looked around and I went, this all has to go. We have to gut everything and get it out. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm, and he knows that because I've done this before where I just, I hit my limit and I'm like, everything has to go. Everything has to be cleaned out. I want to like pressure wash the inside of the entire house, essentially. Like I'm talking like taking pictures off the wall and wiping the wall down, wiping the picture down, putting, deciding, do I want that picture there still? Or am I patching, putting and redoing it? Like that's, that's where I'm at right now. Like just total revampage. So I'm not talking about just cleaning out a cupboard or two. I'm talking like, I want clean, like clean, clean. You know, sometimes you just got to like, it's been a couple years since we moved in. Like it's been a couple years since I painted. Like it's time for me to like reevaluate and like, you know, make it work. So it takes you like 10 to 15 minutes to, to move everything back out of the basement. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I, um. I don't know. I just feel like part of when you're working on something is putting it away when you're done. It's just like I get after him too. Like when he cooks and then there's 500 dirty dishes when I walk in and it looks like a bomb went off in the kitchen. And I'm like, why don't you clean as you go? You know? And so when I finish cooking, either the dishes are either done, depending on what kind of dish I'm doing. If I'm having to watch too many things at once, sometimes I'll, I won't get all of them done. They'll at least be stocked like in the sink, ready to go. And like the counters wiped down, like it's, you know what I mean? So that's my thing. It's like, does she not leave like a, you know, a craptastic mess for the next person that walks through? You know, that's mine. I don't know. Maybe it's weird. I don't know. But I don't know. So yeah, so that's this week, just this week and next week, just boom, 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 trying to get all of that done so that like, I'll know, I'll even, I know that spring is officially this Sunday, but you know. I think it's the Sunday. Maybe it's Monday. I can't remember. Um, I think it's the 20th, which I think is Monday. So, man, yeah, whatever. It is totally a man thing. Yes, Jen. Jen says it's a man thing. It's totally is. They just like to put crap on the dining room table, and that irritates me. I can't handle it. Got to go at a wedding rehearsal in the best man, so I can't hide. Come on, just jumped in to show some love. Well, I appreciate you, David. And uh, come on, go check out his channel, guys. Come on, home sitting. And uh, the milkman, we're gonna, uh, I'll see you when I go to Oklahoma in a, what, two months, whatever it is. Yeah, he's just traveling all over, just moved to Arkansas. His channel's starting to blow up because he's doing all his new stuff at his new cabin. So yeah, go check it out for sure, for sure. Right on, well, enjoy the wedding. Don't forget how to walk one foot and the other. One foot, then the other, there you go. You wanna repaint, but you also wanna spray insulation done. That means all the sheetrock has to go. That is correct, yeah. I don't have to worry about that, but I'm like, there's a couple rooms where I'm looking at the paint on the walls and I'm like reconsidering and I'm like, do I still like this color? And I don't know if the answer is yes. And paint's one of those things where it's relatively cheap, not as cheap as it used to be, but <laughs> nothing is anymore. But um, it's a relatively cheap thing that you can really change the whole look of a room with just doing the paint. So I'm still kind of contemplating on what I want to do if I want to repaint, but I do think I want to move some of my pictures around and like, which will still require some patching and, and painting spots if I'm moving stuff. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure it out. I know I got to Alex. I got to keep after him and be like, yeah, clean up your mess. Like, <sighs> I think part of what it was, he used to be better about it. I think the more time he's been out of the Navy, combined with the fact that once Frankie got to a certain age, that he'd be like, hey, Frankie, 
do X, Y, and Z for me. So then he would stop doing certain things for himself. And then I think it got to be like, well, somebody will take care of it for me. (laughs) So yeah, it's not, I mean, not cheap, but comparative, like comparing paint versus doing like a remodel versus like ripping out a wall or, you know, there's little things like paint or just changing the curtains and your throw pillows, like little things like that, that you can do to kind of freshen things up and give it the appearance of something new and different without spending like a million dollars. But yeah, I mean, paint is definitely more than it used to be. I mean, it used to be, you could get a gallon of paint for, you know, 15 bucks and now it's like 50 something bucks a gallon or something like that. I, yeah, I know nothing's cheap anymore. Hi, Mystic. Hello, hello. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm excited about that. The kids are still doing great. I'm I am patiently waiting on my goslings to see if they're gonna hash. I've got the two in the incubator still. I've stopped turning them what two days ago now, and um, just keeping the humidity high and waiting on the spirit to move them to break through the shale. That's, that's what we're waiting on now. So I'm hopeful. I don't know about the ones that the girls are sitting on. I had refreshed their bedding and they literally, I don't know when they're leaving that nest. Like they look like they have been rode hard and put away wet. Those two, they are just sitting on that nest. They are not leaving. They have not gone outside. They're starting to get the, like the super uber crazy eye. And they just like shuffle those eggs around like they are playing dominoes together. I don't know. I just don't know if those eggs are going to make it. (laughs) But bless their little hearts. They are trying. So I added more bedding. And then I swear they just pooped all over it again because they don't even get up. They don't get up. I have not seen them. I mean, I know they're obviously getting up and drinking and doing stuff. Like I'm not sitting there watching them 24-7. Like, you know, it's not like, you know. Bridget Fonda single white femaleing them or anything, but like they're they're there like constantly, just with the crazy eyes. So and not like I mean you should see them because they park themselves. I mean it's bad. They park themselves under the roost. So when the other chickens are in the coop at night on the roost and they poop, they're pooping on the geese. So the geese have like poop in some of their feathers. I did see the one come out and take a bath was it yesterday? But I was like, why? I'm like, oh my God. So my white, formerly white Sebastopol geese looks less than white right now because she's just sitting there literally getting pooped on. So, you know, what are you gonna do? (laughs) Oh, for more the real men are. And then again, so are the women. Yeah, well, you know, That's because you've had to go through real winters. We don't, you know, those are, I, when I think Michigan, I just think cold. That's the only word that comes to mind. It's like frigid, cold, dark like my soul. That is what I think of. Just really cold. And a fish. That's all I think of when I, and Michigan. And then I think, then I start thinking cars, crime. That's where my brain goes. And bad water. That's, that is the order. So she parks you. <laughs> I would, uh, I would imagine so <laughs> around those parts. Yep. That could be. My goodness. Oh, Lordy, Lordy guys. I see you too. Crazy lady. She's like, I see you. I know. Well, I'm going to cut today's live short, you guys. Normally, I would go for an hour, but number one, because I'm by myself, and number two, Dearborn, Iraq. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Bad water in Dearborn, Iraq. That's funny. Um, I'm going to cut it short because number one, I'm by myself, and number two, my friend is here to help me, so I don't want to be like just, but I didn't want to cancel my live, and I didn't want to like move it up in the time frame just because. I just, I feel like if I move the timing around too much, it gets a little cray cray. So I've got, I've got Michigan nails. Perfect. I love it. So yeah, so I've got uh, a fun 
new video coming out on Sunday about uh, my next adventure with the goats. And uh, just, just keep going. She's like, no, I don't. She's out there organizing stuff. She's like, I don't need you. You're good. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, as always, guys, thank you for coming and hanging out this night. Um, well, or with me because I was by myself today. Um, and I hope that my my house will be more put together here soon. We'll have everything pulled out and everything. All we're really hitting the projects hard. Like we're finishing the siding, the last little touches of some of those projects that we kind of put a pause on through winter. We're picking them back up and we're getting everything finished. So lots of um, construction videos and some of the, the plumbing videos and some of that stuff of what we've been doing in the last uh, last little while here. So more to come. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, you guys, on your way out. And don't forget, we drop new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And we go live every Friday at 4.30 Pacific time. And thank you guys all for stopping by. Appreciate you guys. Cheers. Enjoy the rest of your Friday night. I'll see you on the flip side.